Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my go-to makeup look. This is my most favorite makeup look. This is how I look most of the times when I'm wearing makeup. And I keep getting requests to make this video. And I thought I must have done it already since I wear it all the time. Like I've been wearing it since years. Uh, only my lips have changed. Now they have become more glossy. But then I checked my videos and then I realized I haven't really made a dedicated video on it. I've made like reels and Instagram videos and stuff. But I haven't really sat down and you know explained what I exactly do so I finally did it and I really hope you enjoy so if you want to know what my favorite products are and how I apply them and how I basically get this look then please keep on watching and also if you are liking what you're seeing so far and if you want to make my day please take a moment to subscribe to my channel because it's completely free to you but it really helps me a lot it really helps me to grow my channel and it will just make me smile so please consider subscribing and now let's get started so this is the second time I'm filming this video. The first time I filmed it, uh, some SD card issue happened. Uh, I could recover the photos, but the video footage was gone. Uh, so here I am trying to replicate the exact same look. So to start with, I'm just going to spritz my face with the MAC Fix Plus. Now that my skin is damp, on top of it, I'm going to apply the First Sally Liquid Glass. This is very hydrating, but it's very expensive. Um, and since it's hyaluronic acid, it performs better on damp skin so that's why I'm applying it on damp skin uh, just two drops because it's way too expensive four drops I mean and spread it all over my face by the way I had already applied a moisturizer some time back for the foundation I'm using the K-Beauty foundation I'm using two shades because I don't have my perfect shade with me so I mix 120 white light and 170 white tan uh, so I have only two shades from the yellow tone and this one is very light this one is very dark so the mixture is just perfect for me and for my go-to makeup look I usually don't reach out to foundations I only apply concealer but whenever I have extra time I do apply a foundation and ever since I received this foundation I have not used any other foundation it just works so well so I just mix one pump of the lighter foundation and one pump of the darker foundation and for my go-to makeup look I just reach out to a brush foundation brush I don't use a beauty blender because you have to dampen it and stuff like that uh, and I don't really have the patience to do all that so i just end up using a foundation brush as you can see the mixture of these two shades just matches me perfectly i love the finish of this foundation it's very very hydrating i have a separate detailed review of this foundation so in case you want to check it out i'll just put it in the card above it doesn't give much coverage but the finish just looks beautiful and since i have used two pumps like one pump from each shade it does give me medium coverage if i had used just one pump in total then i would get very less coverage but uh, it can give up to medium coverage if you build it up and it's very hydrating it does not feel dry so it's really good for dry skin by the way the brush I'm using is from BS mall I had got this from Amazon years ago still using the same brush by the way since I remembered I'm going to apply this Too Faced lip injection it just makes the lips plump a little bit and since I have it I'm gonna apply it usually I forget to do this step now for the concealer I'm using this sugar concealer in the shade Chococino I've been reaching out to this concealer a lot and a little bit goes a long way so I'm just going to apply a little bit and a little bit over here I learned this from Kylie Jenner so when you apply like especially a lighter shade of concealer here it just makes your eye lifted like it makes your face look lifted so I'm just using my concealer brush looking up and blending it out this shade is uh, maybe one shade lighter than my shade and whatever's left on the brush I also apply on my eyelids I have some spots here but I'm gonna let it be they are not looking as prominent as before because of the foundation and if I were not to use a foundation then I would spot correct using a concealer but since I've applied a foundation I don't really feel like applying concealer again and since this is like go to makeup right it's not a full coverage makeup so I don't really bother now to set the concealer I'm using the K-Beauty loose powder in the shade banana I just take a little bit of it 
dust off the excess and whenever you're applying powder especially with a brush let the concealer dry first and let it sit by itself because if you directly apply powder with a brush on wet concealer the powder might just stick to concealer in weird areas and it will look weird so let it dry for some time and usually i prefer applying powder under my eyes with a beauty blender a damp beauty blender because that gives the most flawless finish uh, with a brush it doesn't always look that flawless but for my go-to makeup look i just as i told earlier i just don't have patience to dampen up my beauty blender so i just end up using a brush i dust off the excess because i don't want to apply it too much at once you can build it up so for the first layer i just lightly dab on it till it like completely dries because now if i move that concealer also might move and it will crease so i just lightly dab first and now that it's kind of drying take a little bit more and now i can sweep across same for this side first lightly dab and for the next layer i can move it however i want but still be careful don't apply too much pressure and also a little bit on my t-zone because since it's humid and hot very very hot it does get oily also over here because i do get smile lines i have a lot of wrinkles here and always look up while applying the powder if you look down and if you just set it you might get a lot of lines we most of us have lines over here so you don't want to set that right you want to set the entire area so look up and let the skin stretch and then apply the powder to fill in my eyebrows i'm using my benefit goof proof brow pencil this is my go-to brow pencil i don't shape my eyebrows or anything i just fill them in now my favorite step i never miss it most of the times i do skip filling in my eyebrows but this one i never skip this is an eyebrow tint by nyx it also fills in your eyebrows a little bit and also sets them so i'm going to go over and apply it on my eyebrows and this is like so easy to use right so if you just want to fill in your eyebrows on the go this one comes really handy and it's fun to use as well now for the eyes now for my go-to makeup look i just end up using whatever blush i'm using and also bronzer if i'm using one but since i'm filming a video and i want to give you options i'm going to use an eyeshadow palette this is by k beauty they recently launched it this is in the variant pure bloom and this is my favorite one among all the four variants it has all these peachy shades warm shades i always end up wearing warm shades that's just what i like so this is the kind of palette I reach out to a lot if I want to use an eyeshadow and honestly I don't really feel like doing different eyeshadow looks anymore if you watch my older videos I was so much into eyeshadows I used to try to create different different looks and a lot of creative looks and I'm just not into that anymore I just don't feel like applying eyeshadow I don't know why I just like monochromatic looks you know I just want to fill in my entire lid with just one color or maybe two colors I can do it for the videos it's fun for the videos but when I'm going out in real life I just don't do different eye looks anymore so for my eyeshadow today first i'll be using this shade called spice this is a nice burnt orange kind of shade i'm just taking a little bit and dusting off the excess and applying it all over my lid these shadows are very very easy to blend okay so perfect for beginners if you're looking for good quality shades for which you don't really have to put in a lot of efforts and it just blends very seamlessly you should get this one it doesn't look patchy you know even if you're not very good at blending and if you just do some random things it still looks blended okay and they are pigmented as well and as usual i'm also applying it under my eyes the first time i filmed the video i gave so many makeup tips and i don't even remember what makeup tips i gave it was very spontaneous most of my makeup tutorials are spontaneous other videos i actually make notes before making the video i do my research and then make the video but for makeup looks i it's usually spontaneous you know maybe i have a look in mind but how i'm going to do it like what exact steps everything is spontaneous and also the tips which i'm going to give are spontaneous so i don't exactly remember what tips i gave the first time i filmed it i'm giving whatever tips i can think of right now it broke my heart you know because one video takes a lot of time to film okay a lot of work the footage is completely gone so felt bad for a moment but then there was no point uh, being sad about it you know there's nothing i could do nothing was in my hands i tried my best to recover the photos yeah swag hey don't spoil my hair uh, that was my husband this 3 day lockdown in goa so he's at home for 3 days ha huh, so what was i saying ha huh, there was no point being sad about it instead i could just film the video again right that was the only solution so i'm happily filming it again wow 
I've got so much better than before. If it was the old me, I would have kept crying on the same thing. So anyway, for the next shade, I'm using this shade called Brick. This is like a warm brown shade. So I'm mostly focusing it on the crease and outer V. First dab lightly and then blend it out. I have two variants of this eyeshadow palette by the way. So if you want to see the swatches of the shades on my hand, so you can watch either my Instagram reels. I had uploaded the swatches on Instagram. Or you can also watch my YouTube shorts. So whatever I upload on Instagram as reels, I also upload on YouTube as shorts. Not always, but most of the times. Next, I'm using my Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. It's a very beautiful shade. I'm using it to highlight my inner corners. It's really sad that Becca is shutting down, yeah. I have two products from Becca. Love both of them. Also highlighting my brow bone. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with the color by eyelash color because my lashes are like down and so small. Oh, I forgot to clean it. Please make sure you clean your eyelash color because your lashes might just come off. So every time you use it, please clean it. I'm guilty of not cleaning it always, but please do. If you have got some makeup or mascara on your lash curler, it might break off your lashes, okay? Especially if you have mascara on it. And if you curl your lashes after applying your mascara, if that's your habit, uh, you can do it, but please clean your eyelash curler before and after doing that. Now that my lashes are curled and before they go down, I'm just quickly gonna apply a mascara. So the mascara I'm using is by Mars. I've been really loving this mascara, okay? I didn't expect it to perform so good because it's very affordable. It costs, I think, 170 or something. Very, very affordable. All their makeup is affordable and they sent me a few of their products. I made an Instagram reel for the same. All of them amazed me. They performed so well. It's a waterproof mascara, by the way. And it just makes my lashes look so long. Applying a lot of coats as usual. Also applying it on my lower lashes. I really like like the wand of this as you can see it has really long teeth which makes it easy to get into each lash you can just use the individual tooth and just really coat each and every lash also gets easy to apply on the lower lashes actually so i'm just going to perform the same steps on the other eye first curl it and then apply mascara and be right back so i'm back and i do have some mascara on my eyelids so I'm gonna let it dry and then remove it with a Q-tip. Next I'm gonna use bronzer. This is the Hula bronzer. This is the only bronzer I use most of the times. I really love the shade of it. So apply just a little bit on the sides. Using the same brush which comes with it. Also on my jawline. Also going to contour my nose. So while contouring it, I just use the edges of it. So this edge, I touch here so that it just gets as close as possible. Same thing on the other side, this edge. Next for the blush, I'm using the Key Beauty blush. I've been reaching out to this blush a lot. This is in the shade Coral Charm. First of all, love the quality of this blush. It's very, very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way, okay? And this shade in particular, I've been really enjoying. This is like the perfect combination of coral plus pink in one. It's kind of broken. I had fixed it. Complete thing was broken, okay? I dropped it. But still the ends are again breaking. So I just take a little bit of it. Just a tiny bit. So when you're applying blush, especially pigmented blush, first start from here, then blend it out and then blend it in so that so you're not stuck with a lot of blush over here. And then just blend it out once there's nothing on the blush. Brush. I'm going to take a little bit more because I love blush. Also apply on my nose. Love to apply blush on my nose. And I also apply here, like in between the cheeks and the nose. This part, as you can see, it really makes you look youthful. So I love applying blush there as well. A bit on my chin as well. Okay, picking too much. Now I'm going to spray some Fix Plus. Uh, you can skip it, but if you want your highlighter to pop, just spray wherever you're going to apply the highlighter, okay? So I'm just going to do one, one, one. Three sprays and uh, let it dry a little bit because if it's wet and if you directly apply highlighter on top it will look patchy because it will stick on the wet parts so we're just going to let it dry a little bit and when it's the perfect amount of damp it shouldn't be too damp but not too dry either just kind of in between a little bit of moistness then i'll be applying the highlighter so i'm using the same abeka highlighter using this fan brush from GUBB, focusing on the highest points where the light hits naturally that's where i'm going to focus it and blend it so while applying highlighter you can just sit in front of some light source wherever light is coming from and just angle your face properly so that the light is hitting your face points 
and wherever you can see the light hitting that's where you're supposed to apply the highlighter so that when the light hits it the highlighter pops even more that means you're enhancing those light parts also apply on my nose keep it scorching you don't really need to but i enjoy applying highlighter on my nose and chin and keep it this is so soft now for the lipstick, I'm first going to line my lips with the like <laughs> with the Nykaa lip liner in the shade Pillow Fight. That lip injection thing which I had applied, it's dried off. If it was wet, then I would have removed it a little bit because you can't really apply lipstick on completely wet lips. So for overlining, what I do is I learned this from Huda Beauty. Overline your cupid's bow area. So I'm going to overline it here. That is drawing outside my natural lip line can you see i've overdrawn only that part you can even draw one x over here and then proceed if that's what makes it easier for you okay that's it and now i'm going to join it with my natural lip line so now i'm not going to overdraw my lips completely i'm going to join it with my natural lip line same for my bottom lip i'm going to overdraw only in the center and then join my natural lip line you can also fill in your entire lip with it as you can see this shade is really pretty and uh, because of that overlining my lips looking so plump looks like i got a lip job now for the lipstick i'm going to use my current favorite lipstick this is the only lipstick i've been reaching out to these days it's the Huda beauty demi matte in the shade mogul i never thought i would be applying this lipstick that much because i always thought i'm a matte person like matte lipstick person i do like gloss but i don't like anything in between i don't like you know satin finish or anything in between matte and gloss but this finish is just perfect and also it makes my lips look plump okay and i apply a heavy layer okay if i just apply a little bit and then blend it out it gives a nice color but then it doesn't show that much of a gloss and it lasts really long as well the shine might go because of course it's shine it's not matte but the color underneath it stays for a really long time. I apply a thick layer because I love the shine it gives. Also applying it carefully on that overdrawn part. The wand makes it really easy to apply it. It does transfer okay. When I get my hair on my face, my hair gets stuck to this. But I don't really mind it because my lips look so good. I got lipstick on my teeth. While removing it, I got lipstick on my hands. That's the problem with this uh, glossy lipsticks, you know. It transfers a lot. Now I'm going to do a final spray of the Fix Plus. I don't don't spray it as much as I used to do before. If you watch my older videos, I used to drench myself so much. But I still enjoy doing that, okay? It's a really nice glow. If you have dry skin, would highly recommend the MAC Fix Plus. Hydrating as well as moisturizing. So this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments down below if you like this look and what your favorite look is. I would love to know. And in case you recreate it, please tag me. I would definitely repost you on Instagram. I'll leave my handle on the screen. And today's comment shout out goes to AK Bani. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you want a comment shout out, please do comment on my videos uh, and not just for the comment shout out uh, genuinely tell me what you feel about my videos i love hearing feedbacks i love to improve my videos according to whatever you like and also let me know what you would like to see on my channel and just basically tell me something in the comments i love to talk with you and before i let you go i want you to know whatever difficulty you're going through right now it might be big or small you are going to get through this okay this is not your life it is going to get better just consider it as a part of your life and you're learning something from it and you're going to move forward even more stronger trust me and believe in yourself and be happy and if you feel like sharing anything the comment section is open if you don't feel comfortable sharing there my instagram dms are open so please dm me and don't feel lonely okay please think of me as your sister and i love you all so much and now i'm gonna take off that is it for this video i will see you in my next video bye